Scott's got a lovely, wise, kind, sentient eyes. Perhaps for that reason he needs to protect them behind the sunglasses. I hadn't done it for 20 years. I've never seen Scott perform without his sunglasses. I mean, I've had a few situations like hers where I put him on the bed or something in my hotel room and then sat on him and crushed him like right before a show. But you know, I'd always be able to like kind of duct tape him together. Will Scott be able to play without his shades? I wore regular glasses, but I didn't like wearing them when we were playing. And I got them and I thought, well, you know, I'll wear them during the show. It won't be that dorky like wearing regular glasses. And then I just never took them off. People would come to me and say, I've known you for 15 years. I've never seen your eyes before. Scott was with R.E.M. who were finishing a world tour by playing the Live 8 show in Hyde Park. The day before, we flew in and we had the night off. Scott came round to our house where Michelle and I were domiciled. I don't remember the particulars of the evening, but I know as it almost always does there, it ended up around their kitchen table and there's usually a lot of Jim Beam flowing. And uh, I woke up the next day you know, and I threw my clothes on and started scrabbling around for my glasses, the most essential item, before I left and I couldn't find them anywhere. Michelle went downstairs and saw a nice pair of Ray-Bans on the kitchen table by an empty bottle of Jim Beam. And she thought, those glasses don't belong with that bottle. They belong with Scott McCoy. I do kind of panic when I can't find them. And we thought, hasn't he got a gig this afternoon? Yeah, I mean, it was in Hyde Park and I assumed there was 150,000 people there probably, and then they were broadcasting it all over the whole world. We realized they were his glasses, and I went and, and called a cab. Put the sunglasses in and said, take them to the Milestone Hotel. But I think there was a problem getting them any further. All the REM crew had already left the hotel. At that point, I'm in the middle of hundreds of thousands of people in Hyde Park. I definitely started getting weird looks from the rest of the guys in the band. I think they could tell it was me, but they were just really perplexed. And then I said, I left my glasses, I think at Robin and Michelle's, and they were like, what? It's effectively like asking to someone to suddenly, you know, go on stage without your trousers. You know, I don't usually get that nervous, but it did take me out of my comfort zone. It was philosophical. There was just nothing I could do about it. I thought, what's the big deal? I can play a show without my glasses. I won't be able to see very well. But it was kind of cool in a way because then after I did these shows without them, I was like, that's not that big of a deal. Like, I don't have to have them, you know? And I started probably taking them off a lot more after that, make it not be like such a thing. So Scott and his beautiful eyes played the gig. Yes.